Hey YouTube, this is the Flippin' Magic Man coming back at you with another video. Uh, it's a uh, deck that I'm uh, kind of fond of. It's fun to play and it's it can really, in the end game, especially if you're playing Emperor and you're sitting in the Emperor seat, this deck can really help you out as long as your two towers don't get taken down too soon. So I'm going to give you a preview of it and tell me what you think. First up I've got one Contagion Clasp, one Titan Forge, one Precursor Golem, one Everflowing Chalice, one Contagion Engine, one Frontier Guide, one Copperhorn Scout, two Go Goblin or Golem Artisans, two Triumph of the Hordes, two Norns Annex, two Mirion or Mirion Mantles. Two Vital Splicers, two Golem Foundries, two uh, Mir Mirkasoth Wellsprings. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. I'm not that good with that kind of stuff. Pronunciations and all. Four Sensor Splicers. four mall splicers my favorite four blade splicers two dread sanctuaries and the rest are lands I've got twenty four lands not counting the dread sanctuaries so twenty six you can ramp this this deck is great in like I said in Emperor other outside of Emperor it's not so great but this is what it was specifically built for was Emperor and uh, get all them golem tokens out there and pass them off to your towers and if they start you know you notice okay this tower is gonna die just take them back and you've got tons of golem tokens out on the field you can build up them the got like the Golem Foundry and the Titan Forge and stuff like that. Just build them suckers up with the uh proliferate and get you just tons and tons of three threes and a couple nine nines out there and just whoop down on everybody. So uh rate, comment, subscribe, let me know what you think and y'all have a good day. See you later.